Good morning, everyone. Hey. Uh, this is George, Jolene, and uh, if you've been following along, we're giving you 10 tips <laughs> for uh, nutrition and exercise. Really, these are more on the nutrition part because I know that that's what people really struggle with, but there will be a few for fitness. But tip number five is such. <laughs> okay. Tip number five is such. If you are in a place where you are trying to change your habits, improve how you eat, and really just finally take hold of this area of your life and make some changes, you are going to have to adopt some sort of framework or structure to get started. Now, let me explain what that means. I've used this uh, picture before, but when you look at um, subdivisions, some subdivisions, all the houses are built to the same blueprint. They all look the same. When you step into someone's home, however, they're all decorated differently. So what I use with people is a general basic framework to teach food groups and portions. And then depending on how much you exercise, depending on allergies, depending on foods you may like and may, oh, I don't want to eat that. Then we create, we decorate that framework to your specific needs. Oh. Point being, however, you've got to start with some sort of framework. So here's two examples. I've recently spoken with someone who says, I eat about 1,200 to 1,300 calories a day. Now, if you're working out, that concerns me, but that's a whole other thing. But when we looked at what those 1,200 calories were, they were pretty much all carbohydrates. We're missing out on fruit. We're missing out on protein. We're missing out on vegetables. We're missing out on healthy fats. Okay? A framework will help to visualize, i got to get all of these in right? Because all foods fit, right? And we should right. eat all of our food groups. Um, others will say, oh, I don't need a structure or framework. I eat very healthy. But yet when we write it out, they realize, oh my gosh, I'm eating two vegetables a day. So start with a framework and then let's decorate it to meet your unique needs. But you are going to have to start with something, something that you can follow. Great. Come on, let's build a house and decorate it. So we don't live in a studio apartment. <laughs> no. Well, some might. Maybe that's some what their might. framework looks like. But I'd like to help you at least start with a sensible framework, and then we'll go from there. Cool? Okay. Okay. See ya. Bye. Bye.